Hi everyone. We're going to do a semi elliptical art bridge number three problem. It's similar to the number two that we already did. So uh, I'm not going to draw it, uh, but you're welcome to draw it. We want to, uh, it's going to be going down, and we want to uh, do a rectangular coordinate system and find the height at 10. Um, what else is the number? 10, 30, and this should be 50 feet from the center. So basically, I know that it spans 100 feet with a minimum height of 25 feet. So basically, my 2A, length of my major axis, is 2A equals 120. So my A is 60. The maximum height of the bridge is 25, so that's my B. And I just set up my equation, and we're going to... Um, set it at the origin so we don't have a center um, the center is zero zero I mean so we have x squared over 60 squared plus um, y squared over 25 squared and this is going to give you uh, x squared over 3600 plus y squared over 625 equals 1 and this should have equaled 1 as well so I just simplified it now we're going to test at uh, 10 so um, the height at distance of 10 this is your x first x then second x and third x and all we're going to do is find y so basically um, if x is 10 what is my height so I'll just call this height 1, or this is your y1, y sub 1. So we just plug in 10, and you get um, 10 squared over 3600 plus y squared over 625 equals 1. We're going to solve for y, and I'm going to go ahead and um, skip some steps here because we already did this problem. So it's 1 minus 100 over 3600 which is um, the same as this equals 3500 over uh, 3600 so y equals um, y squared equals 625 times 3500 over 3600 and you square root both sides um, you can just put this all in the calculator if you want. Um, and you just square root both sides and put in the calculator, and you will get y is approximately 24.62 um, uh, five feet. So that's your first y. All right. Actually, 24. Yeah. So that's your first y. So you have 10 comma. 24.65. Okay, the next one we want to do is the 30. So we're just going to do the same thing. We have 30 comma y sub 2. So we're going to plug in 30. So we get 30 squared over 3600 plus y squared over 625 equals 1. I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to move everything over and I get y squared over 625 equals 1 minus 30 squared, which is 900, over 3600. Now this whole thing is going to equal um, 2700 over 3600. And you're going to uh, cross multiply. And then you're going to take the square root of both sides. And so y is approximately uh, 13.82 feet. So when x is 30, y is 13.82 feet. Okay, and then the last one is 50. Actually, this was not right. This is, um, I was looking at my wrong thing on the paper. This equals uh, 21.65 feet.
I was looking at the next problem. Sorry. So 21.65. All right. The next one's going to be the 13.82. So we're going to do 50. And we're going to try to find the third y. So we get 50 squared over 3600 plus y squared over 625 equals 1. So we get uh, y squared over 625 equals 1 minus 2500 over 3600. Okay, this all equals um, 1100 over 3600. Which is basically 11. You can cross those two zeros out. You cross multiply, you get y squared equals 625. If you want, you can just say this is 11 over 36. You square root both sides, and you get y is 13.82 feet. So that is your third y. So that's your third height. 13.82 feet. So once you do a few of these, it gets a little easier. All right. Um, next one is a little harder. Same kind of thing, but it's going to have a few more steps. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.